was like, yeah, that's so gnar, man. Like, like what's it like? It's, it's a used term. Josh is just like, who are you? <laughs> oh, here's your friend here. Oh, he's he's not from Colorado. <laughs> Who's your friend? Oh, he's he's like one of those southerners, you know. <laughs> so gnar, bro. One of those southerners. <laughs> I always picture like meeting people. You like, lived uh, here for so long. That doesn't matter. He's a Coloradian but now. now but, now, but now I can say, yeah, I'm Adam. I'm from Colorado I'm from, land. I'm from the north. You know where we got where we got fancy. Well, I'm gonna talk on my phone now, so uh, everybody can just stare at me like I'm speaking to nothing. <sighs> So, thanks for joining me in my shop today. We're having an interesting discussion. Today is actually Adam's birthday. Say hi, Adam's birthday. Hi. Adam's, I'm Adam. Adam's birthday. That's Adam's birthday. And today I've got a cigar review for you, one I've been uh, kind of meaning to do for a while. This is uh, the CAO Criolla. They do, obviously, a Criolla wrapper on this. Criollo wrapper on this, and uh, the rest of it is uh, Nicaraguan. As far as the roll goes, it looks pretty pretty bumpy. I'm assuming that they uh, take lots of pride in rolling it in that same uh, Cuban sandwich style. Uh, on their little advert, they uh, uh, even make make mention that this is uh, the wrapper is done from Cuban seed tobacco, uh, and how it's the uh, the motherland of all all great cigars. But we won't get into that debate right now. It does have this cool little kind of a pigtailish tip right here. It's intended to be torn off and then smoked and uh, not cut at all, but I'm going to cut this one anyway because Eric is giving me uh, looks of uh, disdain, so. Okay, mine worked just fine. I think it's because that one was so big. As far as, the, as far as the smells go on the wrapper, it's just got some uh, some natural, just kind of real light baking spices and some uh, and some leather on there. Yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna cut this to a cold draw. Yes, it's my special day. Hey, you can go wave a gun around. That's totally I'm fine with that. As far as I'm concerned, I'm above the law. As far as I'm concerned. You're not above the law. I'm, a, I'm, I'm above the law. Adam, you're not funny. above the law until you are literally... Today, Adam is above the law because Dredd. it is his birthday. <laughs> unless you unless you were Judge Dredd and you have the ability to say, I am the law, you're not above the law. He never said I am the law. He said I'm the judge, jury, and executioner. I'm judge, jury, and in your case, the executioner. As far as a cold draw goes... Uh, there's some green vegetation on there. I feel like those baking spices are still in there as well. And, uh, yeah, that's what's coming through. So very true uh, with the uh, with the smell of the wrapper. And I'm going to light this up and not speak like Sylvester Stallone anymore. <laughs> I think you gave him way too much alcohol. No, I just, I just love doing his voice. It's, my favorite thing about doing his voice is just the gruntles. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is that if you can do his voice. Is that us that was playing? And I was saying get to the chopper. That was us, wasn't it? Yeah. We were playing Contra. I kept saying get to the chopper. It didn't make any sense, but still. It's also fun if you do his voice and you kind of do this motion because that sounds waterboarding you. <laughs> Gosh. You don't even know us. It's not that I don't. I can only put so much, so many hours of YouTube on there before they. On this first light, I get a lot of creaminess. That vegetation is in there, and uh, there's a there's a little bit of spiciness happening, kind of on the on the center of the tongue. It almost reminds me of uh, of Austria. I definitely like it so far. The flavors are real rich. It's got a really nice toastiness happening as well. So I'm going to get into the first third and be right back in one sec to shake one. So I'm through the first third of this here CAO. Uh, through this first third, it's been real rich on the leather. I'm going to tap this ash right here. I didn't want that one falling off in my lap again, as it were. 
Um, there's been lots of uh, lots of spice that's been uh, getting me right in the back of the throat. <clears throat> Watch that real rich, chewy leather. The the draw on it has been fantastic. Just super easy. Um, lots of uh, lots of smoke production as well. Um, I'm gonna get here into the second third. I don't expect this one to change very much. It hasn't been real complex so far, um, but we'll see where this one goes, and I'll be right back in one sec. I need the silence. Go silence. 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 The, the Quiet. Like, wow. Quiet. So it looks like I'm here through the uh, through the second third of the CAO. You can see the burn here is. Uh, it's been giving me a little bit of trouble on this. Uh, it's not definitely hasn't been uh, been real straight the whole way. I'm gonna tap this real quick. The ash has been hanging on uh, hanging on okay about an inch or so. I'm trying to avoid it falling off uh, falling off into my lap. The draw is still great. The smoke production is still great. The the spices have turned a bit more mild. It's just kind of a kind of a real full body like a leatheriness in there. I did forget to mention that this is a uh, this is <clears throat> this has a Nicaraguan binder and Nicaraguan filler uh, filler in this one. So I was expecting I was expecting that spiciness in there, especially uh, with with that Criollo wrapper. It's been a very easy smoke. I would say this is a, this is a smoke that if you've had a few cigars and you want to go something that's a little bit bolder but not over the top, this would definitely be a good cigar for you. I feel like that uh, that vegetation is still hanging around back in there too. It never really left. It was there on the wrapper end in the first third, um, but it's still there, kind of in the background on the exhale. So I'm gonna get here into the last third and be right back in one sec. So I am down here to the last uh, inch or so of this Cao Criollo. Um, and all through this last third, there's been lots of flavors of uh, just real intense leather and uh, and real soft spice. Um, almost like a like a black peppery, white peppery uh, spice mix. Uh, not those baking spices that I that I was getting earlier. Smoke production has just been excellent. I've tapped this ash a few times now, and you can see the the burn has straightened up nicely right there. And I've I've got this on my uh, my nifty my nifty cigar screw, and it's, good, it's definitely going to go all the way down to the end. Overall, I'd say this is, this is a, a very good cigar. Um, it would definitely be something something for somebody who really likes uh, something with uh, with those uh, those spices in there because that has been a consistent theme uh, theme on this all the way through. Um, but definitely high quality that you expect from Cao uh, with with the burn and then uh, with those uh, with the, the nice long uh, white white ashes hanging on right there. Um, so definitely say this is a this is a good cigar overall. So if you're not there already, don't forget brothersfindtobacco.com. We actually just started a brand new poker series here at the here at the shop. Every Thursday, five to nine, we're going to be doing uh, we're going to be hosting hosting free poker. You can come uh, play for a chance to win a free cigar and for free bragging rights. And as always, thank you for watching.